Hi, there we are. If you I am Kurt from Hollywood Geek. Uh, it's a nerd's guide to Hollywood. Excellent. So, uh, do, you, do you consider yourself a nerd? Uh, I certainly do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, certainly. What, uh, what, uh, what, what, what about you? Would, would yeah. qualify as a nerd? The fact that I listen to WTF, I think, puts there me right go. on the top. There you go. Now, did you listen to WTF prior to working on the show? Absolutely. That's how this kind of came together. Um, I was a big fan of Mark's podcast. And approached Mark about possibly developing a series mostly around his podcast and what he does in real life. And then uh, we just jammed and kind of put it all together. <laughs> they did a great job. The show was fantastic. How hard is it to keep, like, I mean, it could get dark quick. Yes. But, like, uh, how hard is it to keep that kind of fine line that you guys are managing to do this whole time of making me uncomfortable and then making me laugh in the next minute? That's a big point of discussion consistently throughout the development process and the shooting process. We wrestle with it all the time. Um, at IFC, I think we have the ability to go dark, um, which is what I love about cable. Sure. You know? Um, so, the best of both worlds. You can just go as dark as you want and then make them laugh on the, the other side is, is just a great thing. How much has IFC had to like pull you guys back, or do they kind of just let you do what you want to do and just see where it goes? I wouldn't say they pulled us back at all. Really? Yeah, yeah. I think they embrace the tone of it um, you know we've we've produced some other shows with with tones that go very dramatic and very comedic at the same time and and Mark certainly his comedy is kind of like that so oh, yeah yeah I've been a huge fan of Mark forever so I was really happy that the show kept Mark it didn't try to Seinfeld Mark or, or, or I should say sitcom it didn't try to sitcom it kept Mark Mark's voice Mark, Mark's style and and was that a conscious effort to like make sure that you keep true to Mark Marin and, and what the fuck podcast? Every step of the way, we try to keep true of the uh, WTF podcast and Mark's brand, from from the humor to the stories we told to the music and how we use music. Um, yeah, that's a big, big, uh, big thing for us. Now, um, I, I think, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I thought when he was talking about the show way back in the day that it was a different dad. It wasn't Judd Hirsch. Was it like Ed Asner or somebody like that? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, was uh, how did how was it uh, working with Judd Hirsch? over Ed Asner or vice versa? Was it something that just needed to happen to make it more true to the story? Or? To be honest with you, um, working with both guys was terrific. We shot the first pile of this on spec without any network, so we didn't know where it was going to Oh, you didn't know where it was going to go? No, we actually okay. just took a chance and uh, just decided to bypass traditional television development and go make it. So we called in a lot of favors, a lot of people worked for free, um, and Ed Asner was willing to do it. And at the time, wasn't paid, but was willing to go ahead if he was available, and it turned out he wasn't available. Sure. Oh, oh, that's all it was, it was just a scheduling thing. Yeah. Wow, I didn't realize that you guys just did it on your own and hoped to, hoped to get it somewhere. That's what we did because the tone was so different and unique. Sure. We wanted to do creatively what was right for us and then go find a home. Going through the album, that's awesome. Well, I, I got to say that, that thank you so much. Oh, actually, let me ask another question. Uh, what, how many episodes are we looking forward to next season? Do we know? Do we have any idea? Uh, we hope there is a next season. Uh, it's got to be. It's so, so good. The fact that there might be a next season. This show is so good. It's got to stay on. And uh, we really uh, have no idea. Cut. Really? I, I mean, Forget it seems to me that IFC uh, traditionally orders in 10 or 13. Was, uh, sure. So if there is another season, it'll probably be similar. Uh, I can't wait. Thank you so much for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you.